scalar and vector quantity. A scalar quantity is one that can be described with a single number, including any units, giving its size or magnitude. Common examples are volume, time, temperature, and mass. While vector quantity are the quantity that deals inherently with both magnitude and direction. Because direction is an important characteristic of vectors, arrows are used to represent them. The direction of the arrow gives the direction of the vector. In the figure, the colored arrow is called a displacement vector. Because it shows how the car displays from its starting point to the finish point. The length of the arrow represents the magnitude. The magnitude of the displacement vector by convention the length of the vector arrow is proportional to the magnitude of the vector. 30 degrees give us the sense of the direction. Of the displacement vector. So magnitude and direction are the important components of a vector. The fundamental distinction between scalar and vector is the characteristics of direction. Vector have the direction and magnitude, while scalar only has the magnitude. Good example of the difference between scalar and vector is distance. and displacement. Distance is a scalar quantity, while displacement is a vector quantity. So the difference between them, distance only cover how far or the length of up two points. Let's say, uh, let's say Mario walk 20 meter to the east and 10 meter to the north. So the total distance he travel is 30 meter while displacement is talk about how far is your starting point to your finish point or the end point. In the case of Mario, he walked 20 meter east and 10 meter north. His displacement is this one. Displacement. And using Pythagorean theorem, we can say that the displacement of Mario is twenty two point thirty six meter. So the distance have no sense of the direction, only magnitude, while displacement must consider the direction 
it takes. So the displacement or so the direction is this angle of how far he has started to the end point. In this course, we will represent vector in symbols with arrow above them. Let's say vector A will represent it with an arrow above it. So when you see a letter A only, that means we are looking on, uh, it, it give only the magnitude. Therefore, it is a scalar quantity. While vector with the arrowhead give us a sense of direction. Also, we can um, represent a scalar, the magnitude of a vector by using bar, putting the vector quantity in a bar, that means you are looking or it gives us the magnitude. Another thing, if you see an angle sign and the vector value, it gives us or is it it gives reference to the direction. Or the angle of direction of the vector quantity. So take note of that symbols that we will be used all throughout the course. Now, let's check your understanding. There are places where the temperature is positive 20 degrees Celsius at one time of the year and negative 20 degrees Celsius at another time. Do the plus and minus signs that signify positive and negative temperature imply that the temperature is vector quantity? Yes or no? Explain your answer in the comment section of this video. Also try this out. Search for one quantity, then define and classify either it is scalar or vector quantity. For example, temperature, a scalar quantity that measures the average kinetic energy of the atom in a mass. So make sure that you, do, you don't repeat the answer of your classmate. 